and welcome to a new episode of the interview with the feelings of the universe. I just want to start with saying that we're so happy to see all of you guys uh, are following and we love that you leave the comments. So thank you so much. This week we have Elvan Oss from Holland uh, with us to do the interview. And I'm super excited because I have no idea what she's going to ask. So Els, thank you so much for being with us. Hi there. I guess I'm now in. You are. Yeah. <laughs> Nice being here. I had a thousand questions for you, but uh, I had to choose one. First of all, we've met in 2015 for the first time and 2015. And I remember the day perfectly. And I thought about it, the question I asked you that time. And it looks like a simple question, but it has so much in it for me. And um, the question was, does my husband stay with me when I'm going to follow my heart? And I thought about that question and um, I thought everyone is always talking about following their heart. But I thought what does, for most of them, what does it mean follow, following your heart? What is the, the purpose of it? Why... Um, what, it, what brings it to us, to us people, when we follow our heart? And what exactly does it mean? When we follow our heart, it means that we are listening to our soul. We are listening to whatever way that we are meant to go. Um, I always say that following our hearts is not only sparkles and unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> no, because sometimes following our hearts also means that we will put ourselves in situations that from the outside can look difficult, but it is what our soul wanted to learn. It is where our soul wanted us to go. So following our heart is basically just listening to that inner voice that allows us to grow and flow through life the, the way we were intended to do. For some people, their highest, highest purpose is to be with their husband. <laughs> so their heart will always tell them that no matter what, I should stay here, you know. And for people which heart is telling them, I must explore the world. Uh, for them, they cannot understand this within the other person. For the, because for them, uh, following their heart means to, to let go of everything of which could look like attachment. So following your heart is an individual way for you to follow your soul and the path that, will, that was laid out for you uh, to experience in this life. Yeah. I asked a question for you and um, I was also, why did I ask you this question? <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting thing. Because something, the day before I met you, I saw a video on... Um, on the internet on YouTube and I start crying I know there was something hitting me inside and I know there was something that I knew if I ask you the question you would say give me the answer that was um, true and um, so there are two things why do I knew that that you would tell me the truth why did I know it inside and the second thing, why did I need to ask you? Because um, after, after I, I, I felt that my husband would stay, that was your answer, but I need to uh, someone else to say it to me so I can learn to trust what I'm feeling, you understand? Mm -hmm. So, and I knew you were gonna tell me the truth. What, what is, why did I knew that? So you, um, we all have a way of, of being connected to our own knowledge and what we need in life. And some of us are more or less aware of it. You are also a sensitive person. So you are also aware uh, to a certain level, you just doubt yourself like all of us do. <laughs> and so when you saw me, you saw recognition and you saw truth in my eyes. So you had the feeling that, and you saw no judgment. 
So you had the feeling that when you ask me something, the answer of which you will get will be without judgment and it will be from a place where you feel safe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and the thing about that we need to ask other people in order of trusting ourselves, I think it's important not to judge ourselves for being like that. I am like that as well. I ask people with a pair of shoes to put on in the morning, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's about like we have, we are good on some levels and on other levels we we have to learn trust and have to learn how to it's more about having to learn how to listen to oneself in that way for me to listen to the big questions is extremely easy this is my creation but for me to listen to if i should put white or red shoes on you know or if i should squeeze the eat the tuna or, or i should you know these small things that other people just the it's God. They're like, well, I put the red on. I feel like it. I'm like, you no. Know? I mean, how do you feel that? Where is that feeling? You, you know. So yeah. we all have different ways of uh, having to learn how to feel, like how to perceive what we feel. Yeah, and there's a different way of feeling. For me, it's it's sensations in the body, but sometimes I see pictures inside my head I hear things and then all together I know mm -hmm. oh this is the truth for me when they're all together or... yeah mm -hmm. when they're all an image of feeling a hearing a little, I, then I know this this is I had to learn it but that's also in my practice I realized that that is for everyone different yeah there is yeah there's not one way because everybody is supposed to perceive it in a different way. And as a person, as you go through life, it will also shift how you perceive it. So okay. that is the funny thing. You can't hold on to one thing because the one thing that's unevitable is that nothing ever stays the same. Everything is always floating. <laughs> so this thing about thinking you're in control, let it go. Let follow it, it day by yes. day whatever uh, comes up allow yourself to flow with that and and see yeah. what is for me i i don't know like i just i am it and then i i put words to it if i'm supposed to choose uh what to do in the gym i visualize it <laughs> because or else i don't know how to do what i want because i don't know what i want so then i see oh she's running on the running board that looks cool so <laughs> <laughs> but when it's universal thing i'm just one with it and then i explain all the sensations from that yeah but it is different for everyone and as i said it's ever changing so don't hold on to one thing just be open for allowing it to come exactly the way that it wants to because that's the way that you are meant to perceive it allowing is in this beautiful world, you allow yourself to be, allow yourself to feel, allow yourself to do different mm -hmm. things at different times. You. Yeah. That for me is living, also. Yes, allow life as it is. It sounds like opening up, right? Yeah, allowing it, open it up. It's it's like an open word. It's when you, if you see a door, it's instantly open when you say allowance. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And I, I, in, in the beginning, oh yeah, that's something I want to tell you. I came home and I told my husband told me, asked me that time, what were you doing? And I asked, I said to him, I was going to Lisa and I asked the question, what question did you ask if you would stay with me when I opened my heart? And I felt him get scared. I thought, oh, what the fuck? Now <laughs> she's going to tell she's what going to she What did she say? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I told him that you said, you're, you're so hard connected, you're going to stay. And I felt his soul entering his, his body. Oh, yes. As if it was for his, his, um, she could, oh, she's going to stay with me. Because afterwards he said, sometimes I doubt it if I give, uh, could give you enough that, uh, what you needed. So yeah. it was so healing for both of us. So uh, thank you for it anyway. 
<laughs> so welcome. <laughs> so questions are not only sometimes for yourself, but also for other people. And that's the beauty of this interview. I ask questions, but I'm a human. So there are lots of people who think, oh, that I recognize. And that's, that's why I love it. And also when we follow our hearts, I mean, if, if you are in a relationship and there's something that feels not good within you and you bring it to the table, it's not only good for you, it's good for everybody at the table. Because yes. if somebody is not listening to their heart, you can always feel the friction. But if you are fully authentic and, and you explain and tell how you feel, there's no, there's not room for friction in that way there might be friction in the moment because then every truth is on the table yeah but then there's peace after that yeah. whatever outcomes comes out of it but so every time we speak up for ourselves we also speak up for each other and we support the process of what is supposed to happen the moment where we stand up for ourselves in, in truth and authenticity yeah sometimes it's a little scary to do that but uh... I know. Yeah. Thank you. You're so welcome. The last question, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we were in time, but it feels it's the last question. Yeah. Um, and it's always uh, scary to ask if you if there is any message for me. I love that. Because <laughs> I know you're telling me the truth. <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> we've been on this journey for a longer time and we are communicating to you in so many different forms. We are uh, really proud of the way that you are growing and the things that you are doing. And we do see that you being more soft with yourself. We are grateful for that. And then they're laughing a little bit because you're still <laughs> not, not, not Absolutely. hard on yourself, you know? Yeah. Um, they want me to remind you that you can hear them and you just still need to trust yourself more we are with you like all the time and you even call us double you know we stand there like we are already here you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so that's the message and just a lot of love we are making jokes with you because this is how we function, but we love you and we love your being. You are doing amazing. Yeah, I love the fun part. And I, it touches me when you say, don't doubt that you can hear us. And that's, uh, that's always, uh, I know I can uh, in, inside and something is doubting, but it's okay. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much too, Els. We're really happy that you were with us. Yes. And uh, to you guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any comments or any uh, per perceivable thingies you would like to share for me or for Els or for both of us, just write it in the comment below and we will both read it. And uh, if you haven't done it yet, bing, push the subscribe button. I can't even pronounce it. Push the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you for this week and uh, see you next time. Mwah. Doodoo! -doo.